I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to the main report from Keith Murdoch House in Adelaide. Now today, we've just had the News Corporation shareholders information meeting. This is the one time in the year when Rupert voluntarily comes to Adelaide and has an information session with his shareholders. I usually try and come to this thing, but you shouldn't push Rupert too hard because he is doing this voluntarily and if you make his life unpleasant, he might just cancel the whole event. So the strategy today was twofold. First, to let the shareholders know about what happened in New York three weeks ago. Now, uh, Chair, I've put up a shareholder resolution in New York proposing to um, uh, get rid of the dual class voting structure to uh, move to a company with one vote, one value, uh, which would have the effect of reducing your family's stake from 40% uh, to about 13% post the Malone deal, uh, but would also have the effect of causing a re-rating of the stock and helping some of us Australian shareholders who are losing on the currency. I've heard your defences about needing management stability and the ability to take a lot of risks. But I'm just interested as to whether you've, you've heeded the message at all when almost $5 billion worth of Australian stock was voted in favour of this resolution and against the board's strong recommendation uh, not to do that. And secondly, to get an apology for Glenn Milne's assault on me at the Walkley Awards last year. Now, Rupert started off with some humorous strategies when it came to this one. Live on television and was assaulted by uh, one of your drunken journalists, Glenn Milne. He hasn't had a drop since, I can assure you. <laughs> but when it came down to it, the world's most powerful media mogul was good enough to say the S word. Uh, I'm sorry that occasion, that happened. At that point, I sat down. All I wanted was for Rupert to say sorry, and he said it but there was still no sign they were going to pay the $65 physio bill that I copped after Glenn Milne sprained my ankle. Finally, there's that great News Corp tradition of the shareholder show bag. And here it is, the blue bag with the big news logo on it. And what have we got this year for shareholders? Rocky, can you believe it? There was no real Rocky contest today. And then we've got the great Colleen McCulloch love story, Anthony and Cleopatra. Maybe it should have been Rupert and Wendy, but whatever the case, it's a great HarperCollins read. And then we get a collection of glossy magazines about four-wheel driving and all sorts of other things like that. So all up, it's been a terrific day here in Adelaide. Rupert's about to get on the private jet and head back to Sydney, and I'm gonna slum it in economy with Virgin Blue. That's all for now from Adelaide. This is Stephen Main. Just keep doing your best.